this whole story is part of a very unhappy record of British relations in the Middle East. The Honourable Friend is going to raise again on Friday. This Gulf War, looked at in the light of what we now know, was a war for profit, a war for oil, and a war for the control of the area. And now, we are suddenly told that ministers who protested so vigorously about their defense of democracy and human rights were selling weapons to Saddam Hussein. But I was in London in the Blitz in 1940, living in the Millbank Tower where I was born. Every morning I saw Dockland burning, 500 people were killed in Westminster one night by a landmine. It was terrifying. Aren't Arabs terrified? Aren't Iraqis terrified? Don't Arab and Iraqi women weep when their children die? Doesn't bombing strengthen their determination? What fools we are to live in a generation for which war is a computer game for our children and just an interesting little channel for news items. September the 11th was a dreadful event. 8,000 deaths in Afghanistan brought back none of those who died in the World Trade Center. Thousands more deaths in Iraq will not make things right. It will set off a spiral of conflict, of hate, of misery, of desperation that will fuel the wars, the conflict, the terrorism, the depression and the misery of future generations. Many of us have been utterly consistent about the bombing of Libya. This is not a solution. It's not the right thing to do. It's not the right way forward. Western involvement brought about most of the problems. We arm them, we supply them, we profit from them, and we happily consort with them. The hypocrisy, the stench of hypocrisy, is something that gets on my nerves beyond belief. Whether it's a lack of strategy worth the name, the absence of credible ground troops, the missing diplomatic plan for a Syrian settlement, the failure to address the impact of the terrorist threat or the refugee crisis and civilian casualties, it's becoming increasingly clear that the Prime Minister's proposal for military action simply do not stack up. Bombs exported from Britain are being dropped on Yemeni children by Saudi pilots trained by Britain. Isn't it about time this government suspended its arms sales to Saudi Arabia? Yeah.